Hello everyone, welcome back to my next video on how to use lens at imagery for estimating the lens surface temperature. So in this video we'll be, we will be using lens at 8 imagery uh, that we downloaded from the USGS website. So if you don't know how to download the satellite imagery from USGS, I have another video that I, where I have said about how you can download it. It will be on the description and also you can download from there and the data will be I will, I will be using this data for you know, one of the district of Nepal so before going on to the subject matter uh, there are something that we need to understand so in case of lens set 8 and 9 uh, the for estimating the lens surface temperature we will be using band 10 that uh, denotes the thermal infrared band and uh, we'll be using as uh, average uh, wavelength of 10.8 micrometers after that we have some process that uh, will be carrying throughout this uh, video that will estimate the lens surface temperature for that uh, the first will be finding out the radiance and then the brightness temperature and then i will also will then estimate the ndvi after that we will find the emissivity for emissivity first we have to find the proportion of vegetation and then we will find the emissivity after that we will find the lens surface temperature so for that case before we go to the video let me show you how our data will be so i have this uh, data lens surface temperature inside lens surface temperature we have this data that represents different bands of images and for the case of our propose we will be using band 10 and for the for other extrematic beats data we have various data types we have radiance multiplic multiplicative band radiance and band k1 constant band near infrared band and everything for this we will be using the uh, metadata for here we have the, the one file with uh, your lc08 mtl this is the data where we will get all the required information so we'll open and here you can see everything we need and we can i have saved all this in separate table here so you can do like this and if you need this uh, data you can co comment your gmail address in the comment section i will provide you this file then the process whole process now let's go to our topic for that i have this arcgis open and i have connected my folder here then surface temperature and i'll then and also inside the folder i have created a next folder that will be work folder we'll save all the uh, data that we'll extract in this process that is here you can see radiance and then brightness temperature vegetation image and dvi this uh, lens surface emissivity and everything will save in that folder so i request you to uh, before going to this uh, before going you can create a new work folder and i'll then add my band 10 which is thermal band i'll add so you can see this thermal band and i also have one my area of interest that is the district of nepal so i will make this as follow we will at last uh, clip out the data so for this case for now i will re uh, remove this from the data now let's go to our first process that is we will be filing the radiance for that case you can see radiance is find out by using yml that is radiance multiplicative band you can see here radiance multiplicative band is you can see radiance multiplicative band here you can see radiance multiplicative band number okay so radiance multiplicative band here you can see band 8 10 and here you have the value 3 point this this is in exponential value so you can copy this and then go to google and search for exponential 
exponential to decimal converter online and then you can go to the first website what we will see and then here i will paste that data and then calculate it will then calculate the data in decimal home this is the real value in decimal number i'll copy this and i'll also paste here so this way i have pasted, pasted here so in this way you can find all the data in that uh, particular file let's go to our arcgis inside the arcgis we will go to arc toolbox and inside arc toolbox you can see special analyst tool and inside special analyst tool we will go to ma map algebra and map algebra inside map algebra we will use raster calculator so before going to raster calculator let me change this uh, rename this as band 10 so i'll go to raster calculator and then i'll use the formula as given here ml ml is multiplicative band number and you can see the my ml value i'll add the ml value and go to rgis raster calculator and then into and then we have got the formula to quantize and calibrated standard product pixel value dl number will be digital value digital number and that will be our band 10 and then we will use the next let me clear the first and then we will use plus AL is radiance add band have the value of radiance add band 0 0.6 and I'll go to here and I'll plus control D and then I'll save this in work folder as lambda is radiance rad dot tif the format should be tif and then I'll click ok it will take, take some time the next process is ok you can see we have got the RAD now the next process is to find the uh, find the brightness temperature so for the brightness temperature we need K2 K2 is uh, K2 constant band number and then K1 and L, L lambda, L lambda is the radiance and this. So for that case we will go to F K2. Okay. K2 is value of K2 is 1301. I think we will do raster calculator. It will be divided by here you can see ln ln of ln of k1 what is the value of k1 774 ln of k1 divided by what is the value of you can see formula L lambda plus 1 so L lambda is red and then plus 1 minus 272.15 and we'll save this as at least we'll save this as this is brightness temperature bt dot pir Okay, it will also take some time it depends upon your computer after that okay you can see bt.tif have also found out after that we will go to the next portion that is ndvi so in case of ndvi we need two types of data that is uh, nir near infrared and red data red value of data red band red band in 
uh, land set imagery so in case of land set imagery we have uh, band 5 band 5 denotes the nir data near infrared data band and uh, band 4 represents the red band so we'll import this uh, band 5 and band 4 here you can see band 5 and i'll import band 5 and then band 4 okay now we'll rename as band 5 band 4 now we will find the ndbi so for that case we'll go to again raster calculator equals to so for in case of ndbi we must use float float band 5 minus band 4 divided by float of band 5 plus band 4 and then we will save this as ndvi.dir so that is the mistake you can see the mistake so that is the mistake and then we will save okay, it will calculate the ndvi so ndvi uh, normally uh, ndvi represents the vegetation index so whether how much vegetation is appeared in your study area so higher the vegetation the value will be higher and lower the vegetation the value will be lower so it uh, ranges from minus 1 to 1 so 0 0.62 means dense vegetation that is for them uh, 0 0.5 to 1 is the denser vegetation and less is the lower vegetation so after that we will find out pv so for that case we can use ndvi minus ndvi minimum upon ndvi plus ndvi minimum of e square so for that case what we will do is we will go to again raster calculator and then we will use a function that is e square e square of ndvi so what i have we have the formula ndvi minus minus ndvi minimum what is the value of ndvi minimum 0 0.2224 that will be in case of minus that will be plus 0 0.2224 and then also we have this divided by ndvi max plus ndvi minimum so what is the value of ndvi max 0 0.620324 plus 0 0.2224 and then this and we will save this as pb.pif okay and then we will save okay it will save again some time okay now this is pb.pif after that what we will use is we will find the emissivity so emissivity is 0 0.004 into pb plus 0 0.96 so again we will use 0 0.004 into pb plus 0.986 and we'll save this as emi dot dir okay after that we'll find the lst so for lst we'll use bt bt is the top of the brightness temperature and then w is wavelength so what we'll do is we'll go to the formula bt bt plus 1 plus wavelength wavelength is 
8 plus sorry into into pt divided by 14380 14380 into log of emissivity and we will save this as lsc dot tis okay so let me check once again and then log e and then we'll go okay click it okay okay it says find found out the end surface temperature of the area so i'll go on click all this I will bring my study area at the top and to extract the land surface temperature of my study area I will go to inside the extraction extract by mask so I will input the feature as end surface temperature and then open the add my mask feature and then I will save as lst rup dot pir so i'll click on ok it will take some time ok so i don't need so now this and i'll change the ram color to this and i'll then invert so in this way you can find the lens surface temperature you can see the land surface temperature varies from 24 degrees Celsius to 41 degrees Celsius. The maximum is 41 degrees Celsius and the minimum is 24 degrees Celsius. So in this way you can download the so sorry you can create the land surface temperature. After this, so this is the end of the video. If you like this video, please subscribe to the channel and share so that everyone will know the content.